We've said it a million times on this channel, but the 2024 NFL Draft cast is absolutely loaded at the wide receiver position. We have discussed a number of the wide receivers in this class, and there's still so much talent that we haven't even touched, names I've never even mentioned on the channel. So today, we're going to be talking about yet another one of the top guys, and that is UCF wide receiver Javon Baker. After a great week at Mobile, many people have him rapidly moving up draft boards, and he showcases some elite potential as a route runner and a deep ball threat. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new, and let me know which players you guys would be interested in seeing in the next video. But without further ado, let's get into it. Baker has been a big part of the Knights offense over the last few seasons, but he actually started his collegiate career in Tuscaloosa. He was a major recruit coming out of high school and declared to go to Alabama, but unfortunately it didn't work out there for him. He transferred to UCF and he has put up some really solid numbers. In 2022, Baker had 796 yards, 5 touchdowns, and 56 receptions on the year. His 2023 season was much more productive, however. With 52 receptions, Baker finished with 1,139 yards and 7 touchdowns. His 21.9 yards per reception was absolutely fantastic, and he shows some really nice upside in a loaded receiver class. Baker has some really nice size at the wide receiver position. He is 6'1", 208 pounds, and he has a very large catch radius. He has long arms, he is tall, and he is a big target down the field as a jump ball threat. He provides some really nice upside strictly due to his size. Baker also is a very solid route runner with an expansive route tree. That was one of my favorite areas to watch with Baker this season because he was super shifty in the backfield and he had a nice release package against press coverage and he was a really smart, nuanced route runner. He was able to mix and match double moves and he showed some nice potential as a route runner. Another really great area of Baker's game is his contested catch ability. He does a very nice job of out physicaling the defensive back and he had a number of really nice contested catches. He has very nice ball tracking abilities down the field and he can high point the football extremely well. He provides some nice tools in a wide receiver room due to how he can be a deep ball threat strictly because he can track the ball in the air well and he can just out physical everyone. I think those are both areas that are really going to intrigue NFL teams. There are two major concerns with me when it comes to Javon Baker's game. First and foremost, he does not have very great long speed. He has a nice quick first step off the line of scrimmage, but after that, he is not the fastest player in the NFL. I think this could push him down boards in a loaded wide receiver class, as I don't think he possesses the field, the speed to win down the field consistently. And despite being a great route runner, Baker seemed to struggle to consistently gain separation, particularly against press coverage, he just was not able to win enough down the field. While he has some nice quickness, has a good release package, he was not able to leverage himself and get space. I would like to see all these areas improve if he has a chance to be a star in the NFL, because he has a lot of potential and a lot of the tools you look for in a great wide receiver. Baker has been flying up boards over the last few weeks, and was a player that had a pretty solid week in Mobile at the Senior Bowl. This is a loaded wide receiver class, and without the speed, he is a bit lower on my board than many people would like to see. He is my wide receiver 20. Once again, it is an absolutely loaded class at the position, and if you had asked me this last year, he very well could have been in my top 10. But with his lack of separation and not having elite downfield speed, it pushes him down just a bit. He is my number 106 player in the draft class. I think Baker would work best as a vertical threat in a vertical scheme. He is a great deep ball target. He has elite ball tracking abilities in the air and he just finds a way to get underneath the football. But he's also a great contested catch player. I think using him as a deep ball threat could be a very nice weapon. You can mix in some shallow crosses, some plays across the middle because he can run really solid routes. I think there's a lot of potential and a lot of ways you could use him, but I think as a deep ball threat in a vertical scheme, he could be elite. 
my comparison for Javon Baker is another UCF wide receiver, and that is Gabe Davis. Davis has been up and down for Buffalo over the last few years in terms of his production, but he has shown some really nice abilities as a deep ball threat. Neither of them are the fastest receivers in the world, but they have great ball tracking abilities, great hands, and they are very physical wide receivers. I think Baker has quicker breaks in terms of his route running. I think he is an all-around better route runner than Gabe Davis, but I think in terms of size and the way that they play the game, I think there are a lot of very similar areas between the two. Javon Baker is a great contested catch weapon. He is a route runner, he is physical, and he offers a lot of upside. He may slide a little in a great wide receiver class, but I ultimately believe that Javon Baker will be a third round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.